Redemptive historical preaching is simply attempting to preach the scripture in the light of the way God put his Bible together. God gave his word over the course of many centuries as he developed the theme that unifies the whole Bible from the very dawn of history and his announcement that there would come a seed of the woman who would crush the head of the serpent to the more detailed description of the fact that this would be a seed of Abraham to the focus on the redemptive work of Christ in the sacrificial system given to Israel through Moses to the announcement that uh, the ultimate king would come from the line of David. God has been developing this theme throughout, throughout redemptive history. God doesn't reveal the work and the person of Christ through Moses as clearly and as explicitly as he does through Paul. So we respect the fact that God has developed this theme over many centuries, but there's also a continuity to it. So we pay attention to the context of each scripture. We pay attention to the fact that there is a unifying theme in the whole Bible, which is God's agenda to redeem a people for himself, to undo the damage done through Adam's disobedience, but not only undo it, but to do something even better, a new creation through Jesus, the second Adam, a joy even beyond anything that we could imagine. And we need to pay attention to the fact that the purpose of all of Scripture is to lead us to trust in the God who has made promises and now fulfilled all of his promises in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ and in his redemptive work.